Welcome back. WRTV's Hiring Hoosiers remains committed to scoping out local job opportunities. And Raphael, no doubt over the course of this pandemic, yes. we've bonded closely with our pets. So this morning, WRTV's Mark Mullins, he shows us how a locally owned animal hospital is looking to hire and educate workers to handle an uptick in vet visits. It's another day on the job for Nate Swagman. The box for oxygen. Not every day is easy on the job, but every day Nate goes home feeling like he made a difference. It's not what playing with puppies and kitties. Unfortunately, most of the time they are sick here. Um, and you have to have that mindset like I, I want to help them get better. Nate is a registered vet tech assisting veterinarians are with surgeries. Today I'm an esthetist, so I run the anesthesia and all, um, all the kiddos having um, different procedures done like dentals. He's been in the field for seven years, working for Noah's Animal Hospitals for the last two and finishing his bachelor's degree in veterinary nursing thanks to the support of managers here at Noah's, allowing him to take his career to the next level. I was talking to her about maybe going to school one day and she's like, why not? I'm like, that's a good question. Why not? So she kind of pushed me to better myself to get a, a more education in the veterinary field. Noah's Animal Hospitals is a family-run business around for 35 years with nine locations across central Indiana. While the COVID-19 pandemic forced many businesses to downsize or even close, that was not the case for the veterinary medicine industry, not by a long shot. We have absolutely uh, exploded with business. Stephen Phillips is the human resources coordinator for NOAA's. Our business grew exponentially. Uh, people were coming in uh, right and left and you know a, a lot of that may have been because they were home more and noticed that you know since something with Fluffy or Fido was wrong that maybe they did notice before. He says now the company needs to add more workers to its team of roughly 250 employees and it's looking for all types of experience levels for a number of open positions from entry level pet care specialists, which includes walking and feeding pets She's fully invoiced. to client service reps to veterinary technicians and assistants. I am a client service representative cross training to be a veterinary assistant. Across town, Scarlet West started this job with no experience, just a love for animals. And while she's excelling at one job, greeting clients, scheduling appointments and answering phones, she's training for another to work more closely with the animals. Yeah, so they do very well with training and being super supportive and push me to be like the best that I can be. Um, they have known since I started that I wanted to be a technician. She's on the right path, and thanks to a local Hoosier business surviving the pandemic. Right, there's that back for you, and they should be back in shortly. She can remain You're true welcome. to her childhood passion. Ever since I was little, um, I've always loved animals. I've never pictured myself doing anything other than working in veterinary medicine. Working for you, Mark Mullins, WRTV. And Mark has more details on the story. Mark, thank you. By the way, the pay rate for entry-level positions at NOAA's animal hospitals starts at about $10 an hour. Flexible schedules are available at a number of locations around Indianapolis. And you can connect to NOAA's career page by going to our website, hiringhoosiers.com.